Hello and welcome to another step-by-step -step how to tie tutorial video. This is the Red Fox Squirrel Nymph. This is the letter R out of my A to Z tying series. This is out of my Norwegian book. This has been a lot of fun to work out of. Be sure to check out that A to Z flies playlist. This is tied on a must add. This is a size 12, it's a 3X long. This is a 9672 hook. For a tying thread, I am using a 70 denier dark brown UTC. We're gonna give it a little bit of added weight using 0 0.020 lead wire. Of course, we are using squirrel tail for the tail. Body material consists of a dubbing blend made by Pigeon Fly Tine. This is a blend called Agent Orange. We'll use that for the body. And for the thorax, we'll be using a blend called Midnight Special. To secure that all down, I'll be using some brassy sized copper wire. And on top for a wing case, I'm using some Mirage Tinsel Opal. So let's go ahead and remove our fly and secure our blank hook. And we'll start this off with some wraps of the lead wire. To about 10 or so. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 10 wraps or so. Break that off and you do that. Start off with that 10. And if you have a little bit of extra, just go ahead and wind that in there. All right, we're going to position that just behind the eye a little bit. And now we can secure our thread. I'm going to start that right behind the eye. And then take some wraps over that lead. Compress it back down. We can trim off our tag end here. You really want to make sure that lead is nice and secured. Okay, let's advance our thread to the bend of the hook where we will tie in our squirrel tail. And for that, I'm just going to trim off a small little tuff. And when dealing with any kind of hair, we want to make sure we clean it. Pull out all the fuzz. Come in with our brush and our comb and get all that excess out. We really want this to be nice and clean. Let's go ahead and run this through our stacker, tips down. Once our tips are more or less aligned, we can go ahead and remove that. I have just a little bit too much for my liking. I'm going to thin this out just a little bit. All right, for a tail's length, we're going to go about a hook's gap. And secure that at the bend of the hook. I'm going to lift this out of the way. Bring my thread to just behind that eye. And I can secure all this on the top side of the shank of the hook. Trim off our excess and we'll come in with our copper wire. Tie that in. I'm going to bring that all the way up to where that lead starts. I'm going to keep it on the side. I'm going to tie that in from the front to the rear. And stop that right when I get to that tie-in point at the bend of the hook. All right, next we're gonna wax our thread just a little bit. And we will be adding our dubbing blend of squirrel and this magical agent orange material. And when we do our dubbing, as always, less is more. We can always go back and add 
but to keep it manageable we're just going to take small little sections at a time and we'll start this at the rear and work our way forward building up a fairly decent taper which is already started for us with the lap wraps of lead wire and we'll add a touch more This goes on nice and buggy. We're not going to worry about it yet. All right, we're going to take this just onto that lead wire. Excellent. Now let's go ahead and do our counter wraps with our copper. Doing our ribbing. We're going to take one full wrap at the rear and work it way forward, nice and even. Let's write about that thorax position. We can go ahead and secure the copper wire down and trim that out of the way. All right, now because of this body dubbing is really buggy, I'm gonna come in with my scissors and trim right along that copper wire ribbing. Getting rid of all these excess annoying little pieces of squirrel. This will give us a nice nice looking body. Once we have the long pieces all trimmed out, I'm going to come in with my small little brush and just kind of tweak that out a little bit. Just don't want it super buggy, just a little buggy. Alright, next we're going to take our Mirage tinsel we're going to tie that in. I'm going to start it on the near side of the hook, and as I wrap it in, I'm going to position it on the top. So when we fold it over, it'll be nice and centered. All right, we'll go ahead and trim off that little tag end. Excellent. All right, hold that out of the way. Now we can come in with our wax one last time. We're going to build our thorax. And here I'm going to be using this Midnight Special. It's a darker blend. We'll use this to build our thorax. Keeping that nice and tight, nice tight dubbing noodle. And we'll build our thorax up. And keeping that eye of the hook nice and clean. All right, now before I pull my tinsel forward. I'm just going to clean off a little spot for it on the top. I can fold it forward now. And once again this is on the top. Take a few locking wraps. And let's go ahead and trim off our excess. All right, we'll clean everything up in front. We'll finish this off with a nice whip finish. One, two, three, and secure our tying thread down. Okay, so the pieces on the thorax the big strays. I'm just going to trim those down just a little bit. I don't want to take those down too short because I do want some bugginess involved there. All right, I'm going to put a little bubble on top. This is a UV clear. This is a uh, Loon Outdoors. This is the thick. 
Now we're going to do a little bubble on top right over that Mirage tinsel. I kind of let that self level out for a quick moment. And we'll come in with our UV light and secure that down. All right, there you have it. R is for Red Fox Squirrel Nymph. This is tied on a size 12. Thank you for watching. Happy tying, and with this one, tight lines.